Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is the look we're going to do today. I decided to do something a bit more playful. I've been playing it, I've been in, living in browns and nudes for a long time. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye. So, starting off, I'm going to use um, a MAC Gel Matte Primer and I'm going to use my YSL Foundation number B80. And I'm applying this with the Morphe's um, 425 Duo Fiber Foundation Brush, is one of my favorite foundation brushes at the moment because it blends really well. I don't know why the foundation looks really light but trust me it's my shade because I use it all the time. And um, so that's that, I'm just blending. Then next I'm going to take my Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm applying this on my lid and blending. Then for, as a base I'm going to use a black base, this is a Maybelline gel eyeliner, the usual one I use. And I'm just going to be applying this with a flat eyeshadow brush. Like a synthetic one and I'm just using the two MAC 224 brush to just blend the edges because I don't want to have like sharp edges. And then next I'm going in with the pigment that I got from a fellow makeup artist which I really really love and I'm just like how come I'm just finding out about this. But it's called a blue brown pigment and it's really nice oh my god. Anyway so I'm applying this with a Sonia Kashuk fluffy eyeshadow, fluffy eyeshadow brush excuse me and I'm just tapping and blending as I go along just so you can see you can see how intense the pigment and I'm only really using like a tiny tiny bit then next I'm going to take a makeup forever eyeshadow and it's number 172 and I'm using the same MAC um, 224 brush I used earlier I'm just applying it on the edges and into my crease but just halfway I don't want to apply it all the way so as you can see I'm just checking if it's a bit even so I'm applying this and blending. Then next I'm going to take a, a mineralized MAC mineralized skin finish in dark and I'm applying the same um, using the same brush I mean into my brow bone and I'm just using it to blend all the harsh lines as well. Next I'm just going to um, use my Sonia Kashuk um, eyeliner brush and the Maybelline gel eyeliner but in black and I'm just using this to line my eyes um, my lash line and also I'm going to use it to line my um, waterline this is just because I just want the look to come out a bit more but the thing with liner just defines the eyes a bit more and makes it look like a bit more dramatic I don't know I don't know the word but yeah so I'm just going to do a slight wing like the other side I just have to hold towards my skin because that's how I feel that's how I'm most comfortable because the pressure isn't that sturdy but yeah then next I'm applying this on my waterline as well using the same brush because I don't know why I just prefer putting gel liner on my waterline because the last one was worth it Next I'm using my Dior Showcase um, Mascara, then I'm using the 226 matte angle pointed brush and the um, Embark eyeshadow in, um, in the Embark eyeshadow by MAC, excuse me, and I'm just using that to fill in my brows. I'm not doing anything too much for my brows, I just, these days I like my brows really faint, I don't like them too intense. Then I use like a mascara wand or a spoolie, that's what people call it, just to like um, brush the hairs in place and just wipe off, I usually need to wipe off like excess. And I'm taking the YSL um, highlighting pen in, I think it's a number seven, and I'm just blending under my, using this contour on the leaf of my eyebrow, I think it'll be much different because I'm growing my hairs back. And so I'm using like a concealer brush and what I'm doing here, I'm just applying concealer to places I just need a bit more coverage and I'm applying foundation concealer to places that I need a bit more coverage and I'm just blending it in because I don't want to I don't like um, heavy foundation because it's too hot so I don't like yes so just using the foundation brush to blend then next I'm taking that highlighting pen and highlighting underneath my eyes and I'm just making like a little V And I'm applying this on my forehead, places that I usually have bridge of my nose. And I've already done this with all the steps I've been to do it for this. Again, 
again. So I'm just taking the concealer brush. It has this brush has no brand name, it's just one of those generic ones. But I really like it. I'm just using it to clean it up underneath my eyes as well. And blending, blending, blending is key. And I'm also blending in the highlight in my nose and my forehead. Next, I'm taking the powder from the Ben Nye um, Mugai powder palette, and this color, this powder is called Caramel. And I'm using my Gemma Kid um, powder brush. It's discontinued, but it's a really nice powder brush so, because it gets underneath like my eyes properly and it, it curves. And I'm applying this in places where I apply the highlight just to set it. Then I'm using the same brush. I'm going to go in with my MAC um, Mineralize Skin Finish in Deep Dark, and I'm just going to use this as like I'll use it as a contour if, um, if that makes sense. So in places where I didn't apply the caramel powder. This is just to set the rest of the foundation. I'm going to take my um, num the kit number four, make a forever contour kit number four. And I'm using my 109 brush by MAC, and I'm just going to use this to warm up my face a bit. And then I'm going to take my Inner Masker Glim in Supernatural. I'm using this as a brush and a highlight in a way because it's a highlight to cream, but I just like to use it um, as a blush as well. And I'm taking the new Boy Lip Pencil in 2T8, which is a dark plum, and I'm going to fill line on my lips and I'm filling up my lips with a Zara lip pencil and stallion and I'm going to use a MAC lipstick in Violetta I don't know what happened you can't see it properly I was too close to the camera I guess so that's about it for the look thanks for watching bye